What is up you guys? So today I'm going to be showing you how to take a boring vlog and make it a little bit more interesting. So let's get started. All right, the lighting is not great, but we're vloggers. We run with it. We're figuring it out. So I'm currently in the middle of editing my Italy series and normally I will save tutorials until the end of a trip or in between a trip, but I thought Heck, why not do one right in the middle of when I'm actually editing a video and kind of go over some different stuff. And I wanted to do today's video because I currently have a vlog that I'm editing that's like not super interesting, but there's little tips and tricks that you can actually do to make a boring vlog more interesting. So I'm going to go over that today. So if you guys are a creator or are wanting to become a creator, then this video might just be for you. Okay, so let's first talk about what makes a good vlog. So first off, the vlog has to be interesting to someone, whether you're creating a travel vlog or just your everyday life or or doing an informational video like this. And I really wanna stress that you don't need to have a super interesting life to make an interesting vlog because what Joe Blow down the street might find not that interesting, the person next to him might love it. So you can really create a vlog on anything. So there's a few things that's going to make a vlog a heck of a lot more interesting. And that is quick cuts, sound effects, and music. So music is probably the number one thing in making a vlog more interesting. And I use music in all of my videos, obviously. Um, I don't think I've ever even done a vlog without music, like maybe once or twice out of like the 400 videos I've done, but music can really make or break a video. So I've actually partnered with a digital platform for this video called Licked. And basically what they are is a music licensing service that allows you to license commercial music for your videos. Now, if you're a creator and you've ever searched up royalty-free music, you've probably heard something like this and I don't know about you but that doesn't get me super amped up and excited to edit because music for me can truly make or break a video so what's really awesome about Licked is it actually allows you to license commercial music from real labels and real artists that you can use in your videos and not have to worry about a copyright strike so what Licked actually does is it allows you to go onto their platform search up certain music they have a bunch of different playlists you can browse and what's really cool is they have music from people like Snoop Dogg, Melanie C, Simple Minds and so much more. If you guys want to check it out, I'm going to leave a link below and you can actually get your first track for free. Completely free. You don't need to pay anything. So you can actually go onto the website, figure it out for yourself, see how you like it, and then go from there. And if you guys are wanting to sign up, definitely do it right away because the first 30 people to click the link will actually get 50% off their second order as well. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, I'm currently editing my Italy series. So I'm going to pull up one of my vlogs and share the screen with you guys. I'm currently editing a vlog that is kind of like an in-between vlog. It was a day that we were actually going to this like luxury um, outlet designer mall. Normally I wouldn't vlog something like that, but when I looked up it on YouTube, there wasn't anything on it. And it was something that I was personally interested in. So I was like, why not just make a vlog on this? But the thing is there's no B-roll in it. It's kind of just an informational video-esque, like a shopping vlog, but not necessarily something that all of you guys would be super interested in. So it's gonna be a bit more for the people who are interested in fashion on my channel or for new people actually searching it up. And just a little tidbit, I edit all my videos with a external hard drive attached. Just because I do have so much footage, I go through these like once a month. This is a five terabyte, so it's a lot of footage. I also have an eight terabyte beast Honestly, Seagate, if you want to send me these, I'd really appreciate that because all my money goes to hard drives. So I currently edit with Final Cut Pro. If you guys have watched my tutorials before, you do know that. And I mean, I've edited on Final Cut Pro for forever. I actually used to edit on iMovie, which is a free program you can get on Mac. I always suggest when people are starting out to edit on iMovie first because the thing is, you might be like, okay, I want to vlog and then realize a month or two later you hate it because it is a lot of work. <laughs> it's fun, but it is a lot of work. So before buying a $400 program, it's kind of good to like test out the editing. There's also Premiere Pro. For me, I've always suggested people get Final Cut over Premiere just because the workflow is a bit more complicated on Premiere. So the learning curve is going to be a lot steeper. Um, whereas if you go from iMovie to Final Cut Pro, it's a bit more of like a seamless transition because everything's kind of similar. I'm gonna open Final Cut Pro here. And then what I'll actually do is I will just kind of organize all my footage. So you can see that I have rough cut everything. So everything's already cut for the most part. I'll continue to kind of rough cut it throughout when I'm tweaking everything. All right, so now I kind of have everything in place. What I'm gonna go do is actually sift through the whole vlog and I'm gonna highlight while holding down 
um, command, which actually lets you select different clips without it unselecting the other one. So you wanna hold down command if you're editing on a Mac. I'll go in and select any sort of clip in that vlog sequence that I find interesting. So something that I can use at the front of the video. I'll go and select that and then I will go command C and then I will go and I will actually paste that at the very start of the video. And then I will get rid of all of the audio on that. Um, and then I will put them in order of most interesting to least interesting, because you wanna think that you basically have five seconds when a vlog starts to kind of captivate someone, grab them. All right, so as for finding the song, for this video, I am using Lick. So I'm just going onto their platform here. And as you can see, they have a bunch of different instrumental themes, all that. I'm clicking on staff picks. Um, Cause oftentimes I feel like people who work there have like a good grasp on the music and what's good. So for the license, I'm just clicking a standard license um, since that video isn't brand sponsored and then I just continue through my cart um, and it will download right there and what's nice too is those licenses last forever so you don't have to worry about it expiring once you buy it you have it all right so next step once the song is downloaded I will drag it onto my project file and I'll have to decide if I want to use um, like what part of the song I want to use for the intro a lot of times I'll use the middle part of the song for the intro because that's kind of like the most upbeat and uh, like eye-catching, ear-catching, both. For this song, I actually really liked the beginning of the song, so I'm actually using that for the intro. And then from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue cutting down my clips. So I always like to edit my clips to the beats of the song or have it so if a certain word, it cuts to the next clip. I just think it looks a lot better that way. So what I'll do is I'll actually take the little tab and I'll slowly fade it out so it doesn't just abruptly stop. So I have it that as soon as I start talking, the song will slowly fade out um, and then it will go into the talking part and it just sounds better versus it like stopping right away. And then I'm actually dragging that rest of the song back to the next montage part where I'm gonna have um, the clips of me driving when we got onto the bus basically and we're driving to the mall. And then so the next little trick I have to make vlogs more interesting is to use graphics. So I actually download most of my graphics from Pixel Film Studios and I've been using them for quite a bit of time. Just makes your video look a lot more professional. And I'm actually gonna use a few more of these titles sprinkled throughout the vlog. And that's a really good tip that makes vlogs more interesting is having little pop-ups and it just overall makes it more visually appealing as you can see i start with the intro and then i kind of just like move along the vlog what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually go into the transitions i use this slide tool and i put that in between the clip of me talking into the next montage part where the music starts so once again i'm having that music fade in and then i just make the transition really quick so i take my tab and i make that part a bit smaller and then what i'm doing is i'm actually including a transition noise i actually downloaded this thing from youtube called cinematic whoosh and basically it's just the noise of this and it's something so small that makes the video more interesting so when you're transitioning say you have a boring vlog you're not really doing much in your day um, if you're going from the kitchen out to run an errand you can have the vlog have a transition go over and it goes and it's just such a minor thing that makes a boring vlog more interesting. What some people do as well is they actually download those like memes from YouTube so they'll have like a crowd laughing or they'll have I don't know, some sort of like, like maybe alteration on their face. So I know Emma Chamberlain does that a lot, um, but her vlogs are really funny, I think so. But they're very plain vlogs. Like she's not doing much a lot of times in them, yet she's still able to make them really funny through her editing. Oh, I feel like I keep losing track. All right, so next up we have another little music part coming in. So I'm just, once again, like I did in the intro, is I'm cutting all the clips, making them a bit shorter, having them go to the beat of the song. So I will have the music fade out once again, but instead of having the song go away when I'm talking, I'm actually gonna put it to around minus 27, just so it's kind of like low in the back. And then as you can see, it does fade out. But then what I'll do is I'll take the tab of the like quiet minus 27 music part and I will overlay them. So by doing that, you have the loud music fading out and then you have the top one kind of fading in at the same time. So you don't hear basically it going quiet and then going loud again. And so by having the clips, instead of having them here, having them overlap um, allows it to be a more of like a seamless transition. That's a little trick that I actually learned probably like maybe a few years ago and I always use, um, but I can tell right away when I hear it in a vlog if that hasn't been done because it just doesn't sound like as professional as it could. So yeah, that's kind of all the tips and tricks that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you found it helpful from learning about the music, the sound effects, the quick cuts and all that. You might've known this before if you have vlogged for a while, but for me even, I feel like these are little things you kind of learn as you go. And I have been editing for like 
I would say like seven years almost. So it's just, yeah, quite minor things that you might not even think about that you can try adding into your vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already. I'm currently in the middle of my Italy series and I have a lot of fun kind of trips coming up that's just been planned in the coming future. Also big thank you to Licked for sponsoring this as well and working with me. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.